Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Um, today's got a really cool video, something I want to share with you guys. First off, I just want to say thank you to all the channel members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all. And thanks for anybody that comes through and checks out my Knife EDC content. I appreciate you. If you're so inclined and you get the chance, if you'll just please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it'll really help me out. Well, today I wanted to go over my overview, observations, um, thoughts about the Demco Shark Cub. This is the little Shark Cub slicer in a black aluminum handle. It does have a custom... Um, Nashville Custom Knife Show, I guess, limited edition pattern on it, um, but it didn't make it the price anymore. It's 20 CV, aluminum handle, um, uses a shark lock, which is a much thinner, smaller package than the AD 20.5. Just for example, if you guys know the channel, you guys know I've always kind of been a 20.5 guy fan. So that is the clip point. And this is the shark foot. So the 20.5 for me was always kind of a medium sized knife. Um, I love the shark lock. It's kind of, you know, people love it or they hate it. This one um, is the, the shark lock, something I really like. I've been a big fan since it came out. Um, I think what they've done in this small, thin package uh, with the deep carry clip, um, with the metal, you know, Demco pivot. It's a made in Taiwan knife, but it uses 20 CV blade steel. They are offering this slicer blade, which I like for several reasons. One is, as it implies, it's a thinner grind. But I looked at all three of these versions in Nashville, and the clip point, the uh, shark's foot, all of them, are very thin however this one is the thinnest and as you guys know I like to therapeutically slice stuff up and this guy has eaten through more coupon books and more paper that's me snagging it it is just a very slicey small EDC knife that I think has a great place, not only in my collection, but in my pocket. And I personally think because if I, and we'll get some measurements in a second, but I can get a full fork finger grip behind the, uh, the handle there. And I also have this choil, which I feel with the jimping, gives me a really nice choke up spot there. This knife really suits any type of cut. It's got this nice spear point blade with this um, kind of scandy looking grind. That's probably not the actual grind, but a really sharp, sharp tip, uh, sharp, sharp edge. I love the shape of the deployment hole because it gives you a lot of leverage in the flick. For me, it does. Um, I'm not a thumb flick guy, however, this one thumb flicks fine. Um, I have not yet taken it apart, but it I think it's T6s Let's see. and a T8. Yeah, they're T6s on the body and on the clip, and then I think that's probably a T8. Maybe that's a T10. T10 on the pivot, T6 is on the body. Go figure. But um, really well done knife. I've been carrying this knife for right under a week. Um, and it takes up very, very little room. It rides deep in the pocket. It's super thin. It's super light. You know, I did the review on my Flytanium Arcade. And that's something I learned talking to Andrew um, at the Nashville Custom Knife Show that this knife is indeed made in the same facility as the uh, Demco 8020.5s and the Shark Cub. 
because since it was the first use of the shark lock liner or locking mechanism, he wanted to make sure that it was all done consistently. But you can see there the, dif the difference in thickness between the arcade and the 20.5, both in body and in that blade thickness. So it was a welcome, this knife's not at all too big for me, it never was, but this knife is, from an EDC standpoint, for me, it, I, I, I like it better. Um, again, that's personal preference, that's my jam, my thoughts on it. I love the aluminum handle in the uh, flytanium version. I like the thumb studs fine, but I really enjoy the hole, and then I like the, uh, the 20 CV, I like the slicer blade option, and I just really, really like the package. So to give you guys a couple of other quick size comparisons, I'm gonna look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max with the Satu grind, and we will use our little Warney banter, which is the same size as the Baby Banter, CVV Baby Banter, to see that it's closer to the Baby Banter size than it is to the 4 Max, of course, but let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out and the Benchmade Baby Bug Out because this gives you a good, for me at least, it falls right between the Bug Out and the Baby Bug Out. And that's kind of a good size that hits my sweet spot, even though I like the Baby Bug Out and the full size Bug Out too. Um, I just, again, I can't really stress enough how much I personally, John, Javon, whatever you want to call it, really like this knife. I think it's uh, not something I was that aware of when it came out. It was something that I was curious about. I don't know if I would have bought it had I not gone and experienced it right away because um, I absolutely fell in love with it when I started handling it, playing with it, and I saw a lot of the things carried over that I thought were improvements on the flytanium version in this little shark cub, materials, handles, and the like, comes in at 2.7 ounces. So you will see that that is very light, and when we look at our tape measure, do something a little different. We'll take the handle at four and a quarter, We will do our blade, it's two and three quarters, two and a half inch cutting area. That inside grip for me is three and a quarter. The outside grip is three and three quarters. So three and three quarters from here to here, three and a quarter from here to here. Um, yeah, a really small, nice little package. Overall, again, I'm going to call that right under seven inches. And then when we break out our calipers, we'll see that that's 0 0.0945 on the blade stock. Point oh oh five five. Point oh oh two five there, and the handle's a slim point three six. So some people might not like the slimness of the handle. To me, it does not feel sharp. It does not feel harsh. But I've got a medium sized hand, right? Um, I love the action. It's dead nut centered. Again, I picked this one up in uh, Nashville at the Nas Nashville Custom Knife Show um, from Andrew. So maybe they had the best ones there. I don't know. I just can tell you that this knife 
is a great knife. Cost me $200 at the show. I think that's what they're selling for at most retailers. Um, if you find them at White Mountain Knives, I think you can use the Javon 10 code for 10% off, but Demco might be one of those knives that doesn't allow that. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, for me personally, um, I think for $200 in aluminum, in 20 CV, a thin little package, utilizing a lock that I personally really like, the Shark Lock. I appreciate its innovation and the fact that it's here. Um, I'm a big fan. I like this knife. Um, more than my 8020.5, I can say. And there's no telling, but I have a stinking suspicion that this won't be the last blade style that I get in the collection. Um, the clip point kind of looks a little funky, but things grow on me. And the shark foot, uh, you know, they kind of looked a little funky from the start and looks a little funky in the smaller version, the shark cub. So the slicer's where I landed first. Um, we will see. But guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my overview, review, video, kind of my thoughts on this little knife. I think it's a winner. That's just me. But I appreciate each and every one of you. All I ask is that you please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for that guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.